the film E Cupid is about a, a guy who's kind of in a romantic rut. He's been in a relationship for a while, and, um, and he starts to take that for granted. And so his cell phone decides to take control of his love life. And um, through a series of events, he ends up um, kind of realizing what he had thanks to his cell phone. <laughs> My character is a young skater kid who kind of hits on Marshall when they're at a gay bar. And um, I'm, I'm fun loving and I, I make fun of him a lot for his age. Um, I show him my abs and take a poke at his. So it's a really fun scene and it's uh, really comedic. Basically for this character, I um, just kind of brought out the fun, carefree part of myself. And, uh, and I also watched like YouTube videos on like skate videos and, and just kind of picked up some, some lingo and, uh, and tried to incorporate that in my dialogue. When I first read the script, the first thing that, that jumped out at me was just kind of the realistic dialogue. Um, it, it's written in a way that, that people, you can relate to the characters very easily because people talk that way and people actually go through those situations and there are some awkward moments that, you know, which reflect real life. During the audition process, they actually wanted me to read for, I read for the role of Miles, the skater kid, and then after that, uh, they wanted me to read for the house boy, the frat boy uh, that comes in, and, and I was reading the, the, uh, the script, and there's a part where he pulls out a, a dildo, and I got bright red, and I just, I mean, that's, I, I've never even touched one of those, you know, let alone done it on camera. And so um, that, was, that was the first audition where I was asked to play with sex toys. <laughs> I really appreciate how E. Cupid is just a film and not a, a gay film. And that it's really not important whether or not the characters are gay. It's a real romance. It's uh, real, you know, you face real problems and you, you find real solutions. You know, love takes work. And, uh, you know, aside from acting, I do, I'm a political activist for gay rights. And it makes my job easier when I can say that I'm associated with a project that kind of shows the world that, you know, gays are just as boring and and uh, you know, normal as everybody else, and uh, that's kind of the message I try to bring across to anyone. Particularly with this project, it's easy for me to talk about my activism right alongside my acting because, um, as an activist, I go and I promote equality and gay rights, and then as an actor, I'm not afraid to go out there and play a gay character. And at the same time, that gay character isn't the stereotypical gay. It's, um, you know, he's a funny skater kid. And so it just goes hand in hand with my message of, you know, gays are everywhere. They do everything. You know, they come in all shapes and sizes. If there were a young person that wanted to get involved with the gay rights movement, I would just say type in gay rights into Google. You know, that's it. we have such an access to information and uh, you know, type in gay rights into Google, find something that you're passionate about, find a certain cause you wanna fight for and go for it.